Bio Nation. I hope you are doing well today. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Married to College Esports. So we finally got our Rocket League match against Anderson figured out. It's going to be in a few minutes. So since we're getting things set up, uh, we're going to go over a couple of quick announcements as they're getting the lobby uh, up and running. So first of all, who is going to be playing for our Rocket League match today? So we're going to have... Uh, freshman Tyler Lanham, Tyler uh, 15. We'll have our captain, senior Austin Offenberger, Ozio playing. And we'll also have freshman Justin Shanklin, Shank, uh, playing in today's match. And of course, we have our head coach, Derek Games, and uh, some of our assistant Rocket League coaches. But yeah, we were supposed to have this match last Saturday, but because of some unexpected uh, circumstances, we had to reschedule it. So we're fortunate we're going to be able to have that match for you today. So let's go over a couple of announcements. So first, we do want to give a shout out to HyperX, <clears throat> excuse me, for being the official peripheral sponsor for Married to College Esports. They have provided our facility with keyboards, mice, headsets, mouse pads, uh, microphone, uh, great quality. Uh, our students love them. Uh, we're using their Quad X uh, microphone in our broadcasting room right now. So if you want to check out some HyperX gear, and see what they have available, please be sure to go to hyperx.gg slash Marietta ES. The QR code is up on your screen. We also want to give a shout out to Over the Moon Pizza for their support every Tuesday. And guess what? Today's Tuesday is Marietta College Night at their restaurant in Front Street, Marietta. So if you go there and show them your Marietta College ID, you will get a discount on food and drinks. They will have a Nintendo Switch available so you can play some Super Smash or some... Uh, Mario Party or Mario Kart, and they'll have our matches uh, aired on uh, their televisions. So definitely go check them out. And if you can't be there on Tuesdays, well, you just go check them out on other days of the week as well. Although they won't have their Married to College night on other days, of course. But still, we want to thank them for their support. So go check them out. And of course, we are always looking for more students for our esports program. So we have our varsity titles in Fortnite. Uh, League of Legends, Overwatch 2, Rainbow Six Siege, Rocket League, Super Smash Brothers, and Valorant. Uh, so whether you're a high school senior or a college transfer or a current married to college student, we would love to talk to you about our esports program. So I mean, we have our facility here at the Gathering Place on campus. We have several coaches to help with several with our teams. Uh, we try to provide support to help our students succeed not only in esports but in the classroom as well. And there are scholarships available if you are a high school senior or a college transfer. So for more information, uh, you can go to our link tree, linktr.ee slash Marietta Esports. It has links to our social media channels. It has uh, links to how you can sign up for a tryout. You can even uh, set up a Discord call with our uh, head coach. But, all right, we also gonna announce very quickly because we're gonna get started soon, is next Friday, we will have our uh, Campus Clash. This is going to be a Smash tournament uh, for all Marietta College students, faculty, and staff. Uh, it's five dollars to participate. It helps support esports program. We have gift cards for Over the Moon Kudoba and Bowhouse Barbecue, and we are getting started. I'll try to get back to that in just a little bit. But here we go, Marietta College versus Anderson University in the Great Lakes Esports Conference. Now Anderson is twelve and zero. And I've already secured top seed in the playoffs. So Marietta, unfortunately, will not be able to advance to the playoffs, but we will see if they can try to get a win from undefeated Anderson. So we will find out. Shanks is going to try to intercept Bresno. Not able to do so. Hits the crossbar. And we're going to see Yankee trying to go for the rebound. Does not connect. Pixel looking to take control of the ball and go for the shot himself. Hits the crossbar again, but it goes down and in the goal. And Anderson will strike first. So it's just saying fly in the air, bouncing it down and goes right into the goal. Just that is a very difficult shot to defend. Just looking at that. So we're gonna see Shanks gonna win the tip off, gonna head over towards Anderson's side. Thailand I'm gonna pass over to Ozzy, goes for the shot, but doesn't get it. So now it's gonna be passed over to Renzo. It's gonna try to take down the field, but Thailand is going to knock it back. But Renzo is there passing it over to Yankee, who's going to use that boost to set up the play for Pixel and goes for another shot by Anderson. 
and we can see the execution coming from Anderson with that pass, that bank pass actually, going to Pixel, going straight into the goal. So now Anderson is up two to zero, four minutes and five seconds remaining this first game. Yankee takes the, the tip off, but Shank is gonna to try to fight with Resno. It's gonna go over to Pixel, but Ty is gonna knock the ball in the air with the crossbar shot, but no follow-up from the Pioneers. But now we're gonna see Yankee's gonna go for a goal, but Ty Lamb is there for the block. Resno is gonna to try to set the play for Pixel, but doesn't get the play off. Ty Lamb's gonna fight for control of the ball, at least gets it away from Resno, but it's gonna tap it towards the goal once again, but Ozio is there to knock it, but Yankee's gonna go for the shot himself. Using that crossbar, Pixel is gonna get another goal for Anderson. And we're just seeing here that Anderson is liking to use that top bar to bounce and go for the rebound shot. So they don't go for the initial shot. It's the rebound that they are going for. And that is hard to play against because it was going to be really hard to predict what they're going to be doing. But hopefully Marietta is going to kind of take note of Anderson's play style and see if they can counter that. But now Rez is going to set the play by Ty Lane and will knock it towards down the field using his boost to... But Pixel will knock it away. Ozio snatches it away from the goal. But... Yankee is going to get a goal for Anderson. No one was at the goal to defense, so Ozio gets a great shot there, but not going to be able to get back. Tries to get the full boost, but Yankee is right there to take another rebound shot. And now Anderson is up 4-0. to zero. Now we're seeing Anderson going to try to set the play again, but it does get knocked towards... Anderson's goal, but Resno is there for the block. But now Pixel's going to go for another shot, but Ozio is going to take it away. Yankee goes for another shot. Pass. Pixel went for the rebound shot, but Ty Lane was there to defend. As we've been saying, Anderson is all about those rebound shots. So now Resno is going to be flying in the air. But Ozio snatches away, but this is going to be the opportunity that Anderson's looking for, except Ty Lane gets the demo on Resno. Pixel gets the juke onto Ty Lanham, but now the ball is going to head towards Anderson's side, but Resno goes for another shot, and Ty Lanham's going to demo t uh, Resno again. But now Pixel's going to take, take the ball uh, towards the side, but Ty Lanham will knock it away. Resno sets up the shot once again, but a lot of fighting going on by Marietta's goal. And Shank's going to try to take the ball down. It's knocked into the air, but... Yankee's going to take it down towards the side, but Ozzy is there to tip it away. And everyone just misses the ball right there. And we're seeing Resno trying to get one juke after another, and Pixel is going to get a uh, demo onto Ozio. Yankee goes for the shot, but doesn't quite get it. But another goal by Anderson. And we're just seeing Anderson... Really handling the ball very well. Just tap towards the middle, getting the juke onto Ty Lanham, and Yankee will score another goal. So that's going to be 5 to 0. A minute 43 remains uh, in this first game. We're going to see a lot of fighting in the middle, but uh, an exposed goal, you cannot do that against a 12 and 0 Rocket League team. So no one was defending, and Pixel just has a clear shot. Now they're up six to zero. And another tip, and this could be another exposed goal that Resnick's going to try to set for Anderson, but Ozzy is going to get the epic save. He tries to take the ball down the field, uses up all of his remaining boost. Yankee gets demoed by Shank, but Resnick's going to take control. Pixel goes for the side shot, and it goes in. I, mean, I don't know, was the ball going to, no, the ball was not going to go in, and Pixel gets the perfect angle in that top left corner. Ty Lanham tries to block it, but she's not able to do so. So now Anderson is up 7-0, to zero. There's still a minute 22 left. So now Resno's going to set up the play, but it goes down the field. Ty Lanham's going to get demoed by Resno. Trying to get a little bit of payback for some early demos. Ozzy is going to get the block, but it just tips very high. Once again, trying to go for the rebound shot. Pixel misses. 
One minute remains. Pioneers down by seven. Now Resnick's going to take control of the ball, passing it over, well, to no one, and just gets knocked down. Ozio trying to take the ball down, sets up the shot, but Pixel is there for the save. Ty Lanham tried to go for the play, but not able to connect. Everything that almost went in, almost, but Marietta was able, that, that tip from Ozio made the difference. And now Shank's going to go for a shot, but Resno gets there at the last second to stop it. But now Ozzy's going to take the ball down the field. 20 seconds remain. I'm going to be fine with Rezo and Yankee. He's just going to take control of the ball. But Shank and Ty Lanham are going to try to fight for it back. But Yankee gets away from both of them. Going to try to set up another shot. Ozio tips it away. Rezo goes for another side shot. Pixel's looking to secure it in. But Ty Lanham gets the block. But now it's just a matter of Marietta trying to get at least a goal in before the ball lands. But we see that's not going to happen. Anderson will take the first game 7 to 0. And we might be seeing some ping issues or some disconnects. So they may be trying to reconnect. I don't know if there were any possible uh issues with the uh, with the connection, but I think they're trying to get back in here uh see a couple of disconnects so Hopefully they're going to try to reconnect uh, and get back into the game here. So we will uh, see. While we are waiting, as I mentioned uh, earlier, uh, we have a few announcements. So we're going to go back to our announcements about the Campus Clash. So Friday, April 7th, the Esports program will be hosting the Marietta Esports Campus Clash, which will be a campus-wide Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Tournament. Uh, it'll be $5 to compete. It is open to all students, faculty, and staff. So if you know any faculty or staff that may be interested, then let them know about it. But we have gift cards from Over the Moon Pizza, Cadoba, and Boathouse Barbecue for the top three. And we will stream the match on Twitch as well, so you can check it out. But uh, yeah, definitely check it out. But all right, I think we have started up, so let's go ahead and get into game two here. And we're seeing Pixel already trying to set up the play uh, for, for Anderson, but we're going to see Ozio is going to get the tip to block. Ty Lanham gets another save, and Pixel's going to go for another rebound shot, and we're seeing that uh, Shank was trying to block, but just not able to get it. They were trying to go for the read there. Shank was waiting over there, but the ball was just a little bit to his left, and Anderson will score first. But now Resna's going to take the ball down towards Marietta's side of the field. Ozio's going to get demoed, which may give Anderson the opportunity to score. So we're seeing just demoing the goalie, and that set the opportunity for them. So passing it over to Yankee, which will set up the play. So now Anderson is up 2-0. to zero. And we're just now 30 seconds into this game. Shank's going to lose control of the ball. And Ozzy is going to get the save. Doesn't get credit in the game, but that was definitely a save towards a, a shot at the goal. Now Ty Lanham is going to try to take the ball down. Flying over, but not going to have enough boost to finish it. But we're going to see the ball kind of gets passed back to him, but he has to retreat to get some boost. Pixel's going to take it down, pass it over to Reno, but Ozzy is going to take the ball away from the goal, but it gets tipped towards the center once again. Resno going to try to set up the play for Yankee, but Shank is going to knock it away. Pixel's going to try to take the ball down the field, passing it over to Resno, but Ozzy tips it away from Pixel. And they're just trying to play keep away from Anderson to prevent them from making any plays. But that means that they're not being able to make any plays themselves. Ozzy takes the ball down the field, but just not enough boost to follow through. I wish we could see all the boost levels. I mean, I guess I could technically. And we see Resno gonna try to take the set the play for Anderson, but no one from Anderson is there to follow through. And Yankee gets demoed right after tipping the ball away. If he got the demo beforehand, that ball might have gone into the goal. Now we're going to see Resno go for the shot, but Ty Lanham gets the save. 
but now we see Yankee trying to set up, but Ozio knocks it down, passes it over to Thailand, and he goes for the shot, and Marietta will score. So we're just seeing some really good coordination here with Ozio passing over to Thailand and gets the ball over Olaf Anderson, and Marietta does strike finally. Three minutes and two seconds remaining, and Pioneers are down by one. So, I mean, that shows that this is not over yet. Anything can happen in Rocket League, folks. Yankees going to try to set up the play, but now Ozzy is going to snatch it away from Resno. Excuse me, Pixel is going to try to pass it over, but Ty Lanham is there to keep up the offensive. But now Yankees are going to try to take control of the ball. And we're just seeing the ball heading straight towards Marietta's goal, and Resno gets the rebound shot. So we're seeing just hits that crossbar, and once again, Resno knew exactly where that ball was going, and there was just not much Marietta can do to answer that. So now Anderson is up three to one, two minutes, 36 seconds remain. A little fighting towards control of the ball in the middle, but it's heading towards Marietta's side. Ty Lanham trying to try to get it away from Pixel, not gonna get it away from Resno. Shank knocks it away from the goal. Ty Lanham gets the, the save, and Shank's going to try to tip it towards the Anderson's goal, but Pixel's right there, going to go in the air, trying to set up the shot. Resno tries to tip it in, doesn't quite get it. Yankee's going to now set the play, and Yankee will score. So Ozzy tries to knock it away, but Yankee gets it away from all Marietta. Shank tries to get the block, but just not able to get it. We see Pixel going to try to set up uh, another play for Anderson, but Ty Lamb's trying to disrupt it, but, but yeah, when the ball is just kind of bouncing right in front of a goal, that is the most dangerous thing you want to see uh, in Rocket League. So Resno tips it right in front, and Yankee is going to just side flip and knock it right in there. So now they're up 5-1, to one, exactly two minutes remaining in this game. Ty Lamb will win the, the tip off. We're going to try to set up the play, but doesn't have any boost to follow through. Shank's going to get the save, but the ball's going to tip right... Yeah. Yeah, you knew that was going to come, and that's no fault of anyone. I mean, Shank does try to knock it away, but it's a perfect top bounce that Anderson has always been aiming for, and Resno's going to get the, uh, the shot there. Now we're going to see Resno going to try to set up the play. And a little bit of bumping going on. Pixel is going to try to take control of the ball. And Resno is going to get demoed by Shank. But now Pixel is going to go for the play. But doesn't have any boost to follow up with it. Ozio is going to knock it away. But Resno is going to continue to keep the pressure on the Pioneers. Yankees going to get bumped. So that might be part of Marietta's strategy is to disrupt Anderson's offense by just trying to bump cars, do demos. And we're seeing everyone kind of taking a much slower approach. I mean, with one minute remaining, Anderson's already up 6-1. to one. They may be trying to just intentionally uh, eat out the clock. Ozzy's going to try to go for the goal, but Resno is there to defend it. Ozzy's going to try to set up the play, but both Yankee and Pixel will not uh, snatch it away. Shane tries to go for a shot, but another open goal marietta triple committed and yankee's going to capitalize on it and extend the lead even further that's one of the dangers of triple committing is if you don't get the plane don't get back in time your opponent's going to have a wide open goal Now we see Tyler trying to try to take the ball in the field, passes it over to Ozio. Three minutes remaining. Ozio goes for the shot, but Yankee is right there for the block. Going to take the ball down the field. Fights with Shank for that control. But another goal by Anderson. Just setting up that shot from the top. It's exactly what Anderson wants. 
it bounces from the top and they just wait for the ball to land and they get their, their opening. So now 21 seconds remain. Anderson up eight to one. So now Ozzy is gonna to try to get the ball away from Anderson. But Pix is gonna to try to set the shot for Resno bouncing off the top again and another goal by Anderson. We're seeing Anderson is trying to make a statement here. And with eight seconds left, and Anderson up nine to one. Now less than five seconds remain. Anderson may be trying to go for one more shot. But the ball is heading towards the other goal. And Shank is tries to go for the uh the last second goal there, but does not quite get it. So it's gonna be uh nine to one with Anderson winning that. But yeah, it's just really hard when you uh see that we have some supersonic legends, we have some uh people who've been playing Rocket League for a very long time. So it is just a challenge to go up against uh, a team of that caliber. Like I said, Anderson was uh, tw uh, 12 and zero going into this match. So they are a very, uh, very well skilled team. But we're gonna go ahead and get game three underway here. It is match point for Anderson. You see Shanks gonna knock the ball towards uh, Anderson's goal. Ty Lanham tries to fight control, but uh, Resno does take it back, and now the Pioneers are going to fall back. Although, Shank's going to try to recontest it, but Pixel's going to get the save on Shank's shot at the goal. Ozio's going to knock it away, and Yankee gets demoed by Ty Lanham, but still gets the shot in and gets the first goal for this match point. Now we're going to see Pixel taking the ball uh, down the field and trying to pass it over to Yankee. And Yankee's going to go for the follow-up shot, and they do get it. Yeah, and we're just seeing once again, their strategy has been to try to get the ball above the goal and either rotate it or bounce it so it's a very slow momentum to make the shot easier. To, to land. Pix is going to be going for the corner shot, bounces towards Yankee, and just we're seeing that was two goals in just a handful of seconds there. They're passing over to Yankee, and Ozzy tries to block, but just not much he can do about it. So Anderson's already up three to zero, and we're not even through the first minutes of this game. Now Rez is going to try to set the play, and just from around the corner, just going around and just going for that shot and just that perfect center shot, and there's just nothing that Marietta can do to defend it. So we're at four goals in 40 seconds, and we almost saw goal number five by Yankee. It was just a little wide right. But now Rez is going to go for another shot. And it's just goal after goal already up 5-0. to zero. And Shank's going to try to set the play, but Pixel will, and Yankee will uh, take control of it. Ozzy is going to knock it over. You see Shank in Thailand are going to take the ball down the field. Yankee's going to disrupt that. But Resna's going to try to take the ball down. Passing over to Pixel, passing it back. Ozio gets the save. But now there's going to be an open goal. But it gets tipped. Ozio's going to try to get the bump to prevent Resno from scoring. 
Yankee tries to go for a shot, doesn't quite get it. Pixel's gonna go for the shot, passing over to Rezno. Ozio knocks it away. And everyone's just fighting for control of the ball. Chang goes for the shot, but Rezno is gonna get the save, but now the goal is exposed. Rezno passes the Yankee, and it's gonna be another goal by Anderson. So once again, Pioneers triple committed and took the ball all the way down the field. Rezno goes for the shot, but it hits the side, and Yankee is there for the follow-up. So now Pixel's going to be trying to set the play. Ozio snatches uh, away from him, but Yankee is going to set the play once again. And another goal by Anderson. Seven to zero, three minutes and two seconds remaining. So now the ball is heading towards Marius Fibos. Resno goes for the shot, doesn't quite get the ankle. Yankee's gonna get demoed by Shank. And Shank is going to get the juke on Pixel, trying to take the ball down the field. Ozzy goes for the shot, but Yankee does tip it away. Now Thailand's going to try to get it away from Pixel. But it's going to try to use the boost and actually concede to Yankee, who's going to try to set the play to go for the shot. Doesn't connect, but Resno is there with the follow-up. Wants another bounce, and Pixel tries to go for the shot, but Ozzy does get it away. So we saw each of them trying to go for three shots, and they were just ready for each of those bounces. Now Marietta's going to try to set up a play, but Pixel's going to take it away from the Pioneers, setting up for Resna to go for the goal, passing over to Pixel. But Thailand does get it away, trying to go down the air for that shot, but Thailand, unfortunately, was able to get the ball away. Now we're going to see Pixel going to try to set the play for Anderson. Two minutes for Maine uh, in this game. But Resna going to get an open shot. So now Anderson's going to expand their lead even further. Now Resin's going to take the ball down the field. And just another goal by Pixel. So now they're up 9 to 0. seen there just not much that Marietta can do and Anderson gets another shot so now they're up 10 to 0 You're just seeing Yankee taking the ball down the field passing it to Resno who just finishes the play Ozio tries to tip it away but just Got there a little too late. And we're going to see Anderson going for another shot. Austin is going to go for the block. Does get it. Now Thailand's going to try to set the play, but doesn't quite get the angle. Shank's going to try to set up but Yankee will get it away and they're going to take it down the field once again Shank does get the block but Pixel's going to go for another shot so that is their 11th goal Shane's going to take it out, but Resno takes it back. Ozio snatches it away and tries to take the ball down, using up all the boost he has left. One minute remains, and Shane tried to get the follow-up shot, but didn't quite get it. Yankee snatches it away. Anderson's going to set up another goal, and Resno gets the finishing, uh, finishes up the play, and now it's 12-0.
Now Meredith is going to try to set the play, but Yankee gets the way, but fights with Ty Lamb in the middle. And Reznor goes for another shot. Reznor's going to get an early demo onto Ty Lanham. 30 seconds remain. Ball's hanged up down towards uh, Anderson's side. Ty Lanham tries to set up the play, but it gets taken away by Resno. Ty Lanham shuts it down, passes it over to Ozio, trying to set up the play. Meredith goes for the shot, but Pixel is there for the block. Less than 10 seconds remain in the game. And that is going to be the game. So, like I said, there is a reason why Anderson is 12-0, now 13-0 in the GLEC. We saw that Reznor had 13 shots at the goal, and everyone else on Anderson had 7 shots uh, at the, the goal. But uh, congratulations to Anderson on their win. We've all deserved. Uh, our Rocket League team will have one more match uh, this Saturday against St. Francis. And I believe that's at 1 o'clock. So please be sure to, to come back to, to check that out. It is going to be our captain, uh, Ozio Austin Offenberger's uh, last game before he graduates. So definitely come out to check out that match. But for all the latest updates with what's going on at Marietta College Esports, Please be sure to follow us here on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Shoutouts again to HyperX and Over the Moon for uh, their support. Thank you all for your follows. Thank you for your subscriptions. And we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good night.